congratulations on your first live show. Thanks very much. So now I know you've had kind of a busy few weeks with the birth of your daughter, but yeah. were you able to, last week when you were watching in the audience, or even watching your battle rounds, were you able to kind of take away moments from those performances and, and kind of tweak what you were planning on doing tonight? Well, actually, last week's battle round, I mean, last week's live performances were, uh, I was at home. You know, my li my wife was in labor, so I didn't actually get a chance to even sit in the audience okay. and, and see those performances until you know, basically the next day, mm -hmm. baby was born, everything was safe, and uh, and I could sort of, you know, see them see them at home. But obviously, it's a very different scenario when you see them live and and, and you know, with that yeah. excitement in the in the house. Um, but you know, it, it, this has actually been a really big blessing to have both mm -hmm. things go on simultaneously. I kind of have a personality where if one, o you know, only one of those things was going on, I'd white knuckle it and, you know, <laughs> I'd start to get a little in my head about it and this actually helped me face this pretty even keel. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, when, you, when you're out on stage, obviously you have a theater background, so you kind of have the I'm playing to the live audience yeah. mentality. How different is it for you to now worry about playing to the camera as well? It, it is very different um, because, I mean, you're, you're hitting these marks uh, fortunately, you know, when I go out on that stage, at that moment, even though there is a television audience, if I'm not connecting with those people in the house, mm -hmm. there's not going to be that energy, and people on television are going to sense that, whether mm -hmm. they see it in the camera or not, because it's going to, you know, you know, electrify the artist and, and give them that extra sort of nudge to, to really be genuine and that they're really killing it up there. Right. Now, do you have a kind of a wish list of songs that you, above and beyond tonight's song, that well, you hope you know, to I'm get a, to? I'm a Brit pop freak, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a Beatles fan. Um, I, I don't know, something by John Lennon. Okay. Probably. Is it some? Is there, you know, an, an opportunity for you to actually kind of work that in, or how much of a conversation is it with you and your coach between? You know, there is a lot of dialogue between Silo and and his team, and I think that initially, though, he pretty much knows who his team mm -hmm. members are, and he knows sort of what inspires us and what we connect to. So when he brought this Tears for Fear song for me, I was over the moon. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to challenge that. This right. is one of my favorite bands. Right. Awesome. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you very great much. To meet you.